one of the greatest encouragements for me as being a follower of Christ is the fact that I am spiritually born again. I love this first uh, Romans chapter six, verse six. Paul writes, we know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. And that's such an encouragement. I hope it's an encouragement to you that because we are in Christ, because we are spiritually reborn, we are a new creation in Christ, we are no longer slave to sin. You and I, we do not have to sin. Yes, we, we do sin. Yes, we choose to obey the flesh over the spirit too often. But that doesn't have to be who we are no longer we can be uh, we have the possibility to have freedom from our addictions we have the possibility to have freedom from all of these things because we're a new creation in christ jesus because we have been spiritually reborn and i i i i love that it's uh i don't have to walk in that hopelessness as before so I hope you find this encouraging. I hope that that verse encourages you. Like I said, it's been one of the most encouraging verses in my walk uh, with Jesus Christ. And so I encourage you as you go through that uh, that last exercise and kind of making the two columns, one for uh, your life before Christ, your life after Christ. And obviously, if you're one of those folks who were fortunate enough to be raised in the church and you can't remember a time uh, never trusting Christ, then well, uh, it might not be the same exercise for you, perhaps adapted a different way to, hey, this is what uh, my life looks like when I am relying on the flesh versus when I'm actually walking by the Spirit, when I have uh, really given lordship over to Jesus. So just some ideas for me, it was great just uh, getting to think through and walk through the, the before Christ and after, after Christ impact that Jesus had in my life. So let me pray for you all. Lord, I thank you so much that we are spiritually reborn. If we have placed our faith in you, we are new creations in Christ Jesus. And so many benefits that come along with that. So many wonderful things about our identity and that we're just spiritually reborn. So Lord, I pray that you would encourage each person today as they're walking with you, that they do not have to be slaves to sin. We are no longer enslaved to sin. Thank you so much. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen.